Zordrak is not alone in the land of nightmares. He is surrounded, protected, and served by his tough, highly trained and dedicated troops, the Erpneys. This is their commanding officer, Sergeant Blob. You is seriously tell me, Erpgall, that any Erpney what is dropped down this funnel is coming out the other end, multiplied? Oh, no, no, you half-wit! Not multiplied, miniaturized! Miniaturized! Made smaller! Shrunk! Reduced in size! Oh. oh. And I want to run some tests on it now! So get a couple of your men! Don't you order me around, Erpgall! Hey! His lordship wants the results of the tests in half an hour! Ah! Frizz! Nug! Get in here at the double quick march! That's the charge. Hmm. Calling us? Hmm. Do you think we ought to go? No, I don't. Whatever he wants will be more uncomfortable or dangerous than stopping here. You're right. Chris, Nug, get in here at once, or I'm warning you, there'll be trouble! Perhaps you ought to go. He'll only come and find us. Oh, all right then. Come along, lads. Up you come. That's it. Well done. Keep climbing. What's he smiling for? I don't like it when he smiles. It means something. <laughs> Up goes smiling's worse. Much worse. Now, if you two lads will look over here, you will see a amazing and interesting thing what Erpgor has invented. Where, Sarge? Where? <laughs> Get on the way, Erpgor! <laughs> look at that! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> I hope he was not leaving my men in that condition for too long, Erbko. When will it wear off? I haven't the faintest idea, Blob. That's why I'm doing the experiments. It's called research. And now I shall go and acquaint his lordship with my latest triumph. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the land of dreams, Rufus, Amberley, and Albert are filling bubbles for tonight's dreams. Sir? Yes, Rufus? We put all these things into the bubbles for dreams, rainbows and sunshine and all that. But how do the actual places get in? All the houses and the woods and the streets and everything. Come over here, both of you, and I will show you. Oh. Before each dream bottle is filled with bubbles by you, each one is supplied with its own landscape. My imagination produces a scene upon the wall, here, which I miniaturize, thus, and place it in the bottle. Oh, gosh. Perhaps you would like to help me by suggesting interesting places we might put into the dreams. Oh, yes. What about a fun fair? Oh, the seaside. A fun fair? No. Oh, yes. Oh, it's lovely. And into the bottle. Now, what did you say, Rufus? The seaside? Yes. Is that the sort of thing? Oh, yes. It's really good. What about a huge cave, or...? We don't need any more for this evening, Rufus. But why don't you keep a list of your ideas? What happens to a dream when it's finished? When it's been dreamed? Where does it go? It floats away and becomes available as a daydream. But after that, it becomes very hazy and faint and eventually drifts away into nothing. Oh. I'm going to write my list of ideas. Oh, yes. <laughs> They've been small for two hours so far, Master. <laughs> Which should be ample time for my, um, our purpose. <laughs> Let us hope so, Urbko. For your sake. <laughs> oh, we were strict! Um, you tricked us, Sarge. You pushed us into Urbgore's machine. You've took advantage of our trusting knights, you Sarge. Yes, you... Be silent! <sighs> Urbgore, you will put this plan into operation immediately. Mm, yes, Master. Absolutely immediately, Master. Get out! 
all of you. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing? I don't know how you could do it to a Sarge. I just don't. I'd silly push this into one of Herb Girl's machines so we'd end up small. It's really cruel, is that? Really cruel? Personally, I've lost all faith in Erpney nature. I shall never be able to trust anyone again. And to your own men. Now, look here, lads. Will you not be quiet and listen to me? Good idea. Let's listen to Herb Gore, men. <laughs> Thank you so much. You see before you what appears to be a cloud. It is, in fact, a vehicle which will transport you and the miniaturizing funnel into the land of dreams undetected. What for? So that you can pass down the funnel, becoming small enough in the process to enter the dreams which the dream maker is sending out. What do we want to get into other people's dreams for? So that you can mess them up, of course. Spoil them. <laughs> Why else? Where is this wonderful vehicle? What you were so enthusiastical about then, Apcor? In front of you, Blob! In front of you! I just explained, haven't I? It has a permanent surrounding mist to make it look like a cloud. They'll never suspect. It's brilliant! So, we go all little and jump into these dreams and that. And then what are we supposed to do? How do we get back? We don't. We're trapped. Never to be seen again. Left It's to... quite straightforward. After a couple of hours, you will regain your normal size, fall out of the dream, and make your way to a prearranged meeting place. Which we shall prearrange together. So come along, lads. All aboard. Quick march. Hop to you. Are they going too, Sarge? Yes, indeed, now. Yes, indeed. You will all be jumping into dreams unilaterally. Or one at a time. Good. We can go last, then. I've had to install the funnel in the roof, Blob, so when you're in position over the dream beams, switch it on and turn the machine upside down. Seatbelts are provided for those of you who can work out how to fasten them. <laughs> for dreams and things this morning, sir. I'm glad you found it instructive, Emily. Thank you. Who's the first dream for tonight, sir? Oh, I think the flower twins. First Marigold, and then Primula. We shall collaborate by the bridge outside the town. Make your way there as soon as you is back to normal size. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. I shall now revolve us upside down, and Blue Jit and Grid will prepare to jump into the funnel. Ready? Yes, sir. Right. Revolving. Now. Ready to jump. Three, two, one, jump. Next to Blit and Urk. Jump! Next to Sniff and Buff. Jump! Please, no! Yes, Sarge. Three, two, one, jump!
Poor little Primula. Frizz and Nug have ruined her dream. What are they going to do next? What are we going to do next? I don't know. How long do you reckon it'll take before we get big again? Don't know. But what of the other dreams, dear viewer? What are other Erpneys doing to other sleeping noops? Bluejit and Grid are up to no good with a pair of roller skates. What about Blit and Urk? The sabotage has been successful, but as the completed dreams drift away to become daydreams, the Erpneys are still inside. Where are we? Near the bridge by the look of it. Quick! Over here, man. Come along, quick as you can. We've been messed about with. Thrown out of the sky, and he says quick as you can. He must think we're immortal. It's lack of imagination, that's all. No conception of the suffering of others. Well done, lads, well done. Take your places now and fasten those seatbelts. I was really frightened. It was horrible. I cried like anything. I was ever so scared. It was such a nice dream. And then it was all spoiled. Will it happen again tonight? I'm so sorry to hear about all these dreadful things. It's most upsetting that your dream should have been spoiled in this way. Most upsetting. But please be assured that I shall do everything possible to ensure that it does not happen again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So off you go. Leave it to me. I shall deal with the problem. Bye. Bye. What will you do, sir? I haven't the faintest idea, Amberley. Zordrak is obviously responsible, but what is he doing? How is he managing to interfere with the dreams? I don't think we can get no more in, Erpgor. My men is getting a bit adjacent to one another in there. Uh, don't be stupid, Blob. There's plenty of room, plenty. Tell them to breathe in. Many more Erpneys in that vehicle, Erpgor, and it will not be getting off the ground. I want as many Erpneys in there as possible. The more Erpneys, the more spoiled dreams. The more spoiled dreams, the more delighted will my master be with me. <laughs> Already he is overjoyed at my success. <laughs> overjoyed. Very well. But I shall hold you responsible for any misapprehensions? Hurry up, men! At the double! We don't think we'll bother, Sarge. Looks awfully crowded in there. Yes, Sarge. There's loads of others to do the jumping. We'll probably only be in the way. Will you two get aboard? Now! <laughs> this will be a sensation. A sensation! Hundreds of ruined dreams. His lordship will be amazed. And Abgor will be rewarded. <laughs> I want you to assist me to send the dreams, Rufus. Yes, sir. And you, Amberley, you are to bring the ladder up to the tower and keep watch through the windows. Right. And Albert and Mr. Blossom will patrol the garden. The Erpneys must somehow be getting into the dreams as they are being sent, so we must keep a sharp lookout. Don't you worry about no Erpney getting in higher. They got me to contend with, and I got my dibber. Thank you, Rufus. Can you see properly from up there, Amberley? Yes, I've got a clear view all round. Can you see anyone? No, only a few clouds. I can't move. Well, I can't breathe. Stop complaining, you two, and prepare for action.
Aha! Nice, healthy-looking rain cloud up there. Good for my begonias. They've been looking a bit peaky of late. Right? Prepare to turn upside down. Hold tight, lads. Undefensible flying object approaching. Stop! Stop sending the dreams! Stop! Albert's attacking something inside a cloud. Quick! <laughs> Come along, then, men. Regroup, regroup. Take no notice of the fish. It is almost certain to be, um, harmless. <laughs> Quick march. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 left. Well done, Albert. Congratulations, Albert. You would seem to have averted the danger. Little noops can enjoy their dreams tonight. Not all of them can't. What do you mean, Mr. Blossom? There's one as isn't going to, because of how I see them herpnies drop summon into one of thy dreams, which I'd have told you afore if you hadn't all have been making such a commotion and to do. We must do something immediately. Follow me. To in and throwing back and forth, up and down. I'm going back to my greenhouse. We must find out what's happening. Oh. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> Let us take a closer look at the dream. There's Ernie's in there. <laughs> you can't reach them, can you, sir? I'm afraid that you two are going to have to go into the dream and get them. I cannot allow them to drift off and become somebody's daydream. What are we going to do with them when we've got them? Bring them back to me. But how can we get into the dream bubble? You remember how I reduced the landscapes in size to put into the bottles? Yes. Well, just step through there. Oh! Don't worry, I shall be watching you. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I know! The speed control! It's no good. I can't go on. We'll have to surrender and beg for mercy. I please. Look, we're getting bigger. Ooh. Look. Woof. <laughs> 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 Did you see them, sir? They suddenly started to get big again. They'd have flattened us if they'd caught us. I think, then, that the best solution will be to destroy the bubble, don't you? Mark? Guess what? Yeah? 